Filipinas in the Philippines, will you be scammed by a foreigner? I don't mean financially scammed, I mean mentally scammed, mentally robbed, mentally disappointed by the foreigner you meet. Because make no mistake, along with the good foreigners, and there are many good foreigners from all nations, there are some garbage. There will be some garbage foreigners that come. Utter twats, utter idiots, men that couldn't find relationships in their home country because of their attitudes. I listened to some of the um, podcasts on YouTube, the ones about the Philippines where you have a group of them talking. I've never heard such scum in my life. Yes, I'm aware that some people, to make it entertaining, they put on a bit of an act. I can see through that act. I have never seen such scum in my life. And they wonder why no Western or nobody female from their own country is interested in them. They are vile. Like I said, there'll be many, many good foreigners that come here, but there'll be some bad actors. A lot of them will be mentally ill. Not so badly mentally ill that they were put in institutions. I'm talking borderline mentally ill. Filled with hate. Just disgusting. And they probably don't even wash properly. I will guarantee you some of these men coming here, their personal hygiene is abominable. Is disgusting. I can smell their stinky testicles from here. So I would say Filipinas, wherever you are based in the Philippines, be careful who you go with. Don't just think all Westerners have got to be better than Filipinos, because they're not. Some of them will be coming here, and in their minds, you are nothing more than a slave class, a servant class. They will think they are better than you. They don't even wash their feet fucking balls. They don't even put deodorant under their armpits, but they will think they're better than you. They'll be fat and plain looking. Filipinas, think very carefully before you pick someone such as that. These people couldn't make it in their home country very rarely had sex unless they paid for it and if they did have sex they actually managed to find a western woman uglier plainer than themselves they give vermin a bad name and like a dose of scabies they want to get under your skin don't be fooled. You too, Filipinas, you too do your research. And if you don't feel comfortable with the man you've met, move on. They're there, some of, you know, I've been on some of these sites. I don't talk in the chats or anything. I just listen. And like I said, I'm aware it's a bit of entertainment, 
maybe people have a few drinks when they're chatting. It's, it's a boys kind of nights in type thing, but they're vile. They're not putting on any acts. It's them. It's their true selves. Like I said, I will guarantee you they don't even wash their testicles. They're like women gossiping. They think they are superior, when in fact they're anything but. They are so inferior, it is laughable. It's a shame, because along with the good Westerners that will come here, that mean well, that are genuine, that have been hard working, you've got this pond life, this amoeba, that will also come here from foreign countries. And I say from the West, it could be from anywhere, it doesn't have to just be the West. All foreigners are not equal, as all Filipinas are not equal. So, you see, the coin flips both sides. It's not just about the Westerner or the foreigner being careful about being scammed. It's about the Filipina being careful about being scammed. You know, I just listen to some of these things and I think, Jesus Christ, there's going to be some Filipinas that have to go with these creatures. They're low lives, poorly educated. At the first sign of trouble, they'd run. I have a big nose, do I? Mm. Come here and tell me that. And guess what will happen? I will not lay a finger on you. In my pretend world, because I'm only pretending here, it's not real what I'm saying. It's not serious in brackets. You will be escorted to a place called Jolo Island. You will never return. You will never return. Don't talk bullshit all your life. Very few women were ever interested in you. You're plain looking. You maybe have a smaller nose than me, but you're plain looking, my friend. Whether you have a big dick or a small dick, is inconsequential. You never had the chance to use it unless you paid for it. And even then, you ejaculated within three minutes and were asked to leave the whorehouse. Before you look at someone like me, look at yourself. Look at yourself. Because I bet you ain't too pretty. Because if you were, why would you even be thinking about coming here and meeting a Filipina? Like I said, I feel sorry for some of you Filipinas. You're going to end up, in one way or the other, with the biggest pile of crap. With the biggest pile of feces. From the Western world. Or wherever, for that reason. Matter, shall I say. Not just the West. Could be from Africa. Could be from the Middle East. Could be anywhere.
Oh, and I need to address something else while, I, while I'm at it. I will say this once. I am not and have never been Go Go Bobo or whatever this person's name is. Where that started out, I have no clue. I didn't even know who the person was until I happened to see a comment and thought, well, who's this? Now, if you have much intelligence, which you don't have, listen to Go Go Bobo. I nearly said Go Go Pogo. And you can plainly hear it's either an Australian or a New Zealand accent. I mean, you've got to be deaf not to hear that. Even I can hear that. And have you ever wondered why this person, who I don't know, I've only just heard of very recently, has a voice changer? Oh, because it's you, Phil. That's why, isn't it? He speaks like you. Well, let me give you a little fucking clue, shall I? I listened to this go-go person. Oh, and I know why they use a voice changer, all right. H-E spells he. Put an S in front of H-E and what do you get? Listen closely to the voice changing thing that they're using and you can plainly hear it's a woman. That is why they've disguised their voice. Why? I don't know. Why not just come on as a woman? And that's not me being funny, being rude. It's so obvious it is a woman. I can hear, by the way, the pattern of how they're talking. Not only can I hear the Australian or the New Zealand accent, I can hear it's a female talking. And there's your answer as to why they've always used this voice changer. For whatever reason, maybe they didn't feel they'd get an equal say. I don't know what, what the motive is there. And as for me, I suppose I became a bit of a, what they call a useful idiot. So this go-go person knows full well she is not me. And that is why she, when she goes on to that podcast, says she will not discuss the other channel. I suppose there's a little bit of guilt because she knows she's not me. But also it adds to the mystery, you know? It adds, if, if people think she is me, they're definitely never gonna be clued up to the fact that it's a woman. And like I said, I'm not being funny, I'm not trying to call this character a woman if it's not a woman. Listen very clearly, closely rather, to the voice changer and you can hear at the end of the words that she is saying, it's a woman talking. There would be no reason for any voice changing mechanism. If you're, if you're a man, you don't have to show your face. No one's gonna know who you are. So why would you use a voice changer? Unless you're a woman trying to pretend you're a man. But you didn't think that, did you? I will guarantee you I'm right. I've got nothing against this person, nothing at all. I played along with it a little bit. Just, I don't know why. I'm not offended by it. I'm offended by those jerks 
they go on about my nose or whatever they want to go on about. Even if it's all in jest, it's a good laugh, mate. I'm not funny. How would you like me to go on about your small penis? About your unwashed dick? About your mother's dick? You wouldn't want me to go on about your mother's dick, would you? And I never would go on about your mother's penis. So don't go on about me. Well, you can if you want, I don't care. That's a bit of acting on my part, really. Listen, I understand it's, we all have a laugh online and, you know, we're guys together, etc, etc. But going back to what I started with, Filipinas, just be careful who you get involved with. And if they're not the right person, as I said, move on. If they cause you problems, get some Filipinos and deal with them. You know what I mean. They're cowards. Most Westerners are cowards. They've got big mouths and I don't care if they're 25 stone, six foot nine. They're cowards. They're on their own. They ain't going to do nothing. Do you know what? If you're a heavyweight boxer, let's say, you're 20 stone or you're 19 stone, you've got muscles, you're six foot eight, a Dogo Argentino will kill you. Two Dogo Argentinas will definitely kill you. Two Preza Canarias will kill you. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. That's all.